and welcome to the DNA fingerprinting smart science measurement help video. This is one of our three gel electrophoresis labs. They're all very similar. So we're going to do this video and this should cover the idea of how to measure from gel electrophoresis. For each one of these different labs up above is going to be a description of the lab and then a guideline as to what your measurements are. In this case, you've got six different lanes you're going to measure from. Uh, two from the crime scene, two for suspect one, and two for suspect two. And really what this is all about is during the gel electrophoresis, you've got these DNA fragments and you're using the electrical current to separate the fragments to see how far they move. So a little bit of that information up above here in the description area. Once you've read the central question or the central idea, you've picked or written a hypothesis, whether you think it's suspect one or suspect two that's going to be guilty in this case. And then you'll come down and you're going to do those different lanes, the crime scene, the two suspects, their different parts. Let's watch the video. Uh, the video is very simple, just shows you how to set up the gel electrophoresis in each case. Okay, so that's going to go through a pretty um, involved procedure, about 20 seconds there, and that's sort of sped up with a lot of time lapse. Finally, when that's done, you're going to see the gel and the results of the, of the experiment itself. Now, it says here, click the DNA fragments in each lane, click the bottom mark, and then the two DNA marks, three clicks, be careful. So we're in lane one, that's over here on the left. First is that bottom mark, and then the two other marks. This is going to create on our graph basically three points, a zero point, the first point, and the second point. So you're going to save that, get it up into your list here. Once you've got lane one, and lane two for the crime scene, you're then going to compare them to person number one and person number two, both lanes. Whichever one matches better, that should be your criminal. See what results you get doing this gel electrophoresis lab. And remember, each one of these marks is actually a DNA fragment that's moved that you've measured, in this case, coming from a crime scene. 